<laughs> you know we up this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. The one down and one to go. Reverend Raphael Ooh. Warnock won the Senate runoff election against Republican Kelly Loeffler. The Ossoff-Purdue race has not yet been called, but we have our fingers crossed. Now, as of early this morning, 98% of the votes were in Democratic John Ossoff's way, which means it was a very narrow lead, but he is leading as of right now. Also, Congress is set to confirm Joe Biden as the next president, but will not do with so without drama. At least 10 Republican senators and up to 100 GOP House members are expected to object the results of the Electoral College vote. Why? We don't know. Uh, 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 now, Eva. At, yes. I, I, and I know, I know Mike probably sat there and said it. After Donald Trump, after they heard that hour-long audio tape of him trying to, uh, uh, what, what is it, Kate? Trying Try, to, uh, well, trying to trying to extort the Carson, Secretary what? of State. Right. After that, you still going to sit up there and say that Donald Trump should be... Should be I mean, president? He, he has no shame. He has literally no shame at all. At some point, you just got to tap out, and that's not where he's at. Right. Speaking of tapping out, super, super sad day yesterday when I read this, Ricky. Yesterday, 3,775 people died from the coronavirus here in the U.S. That is the highest one-day number of death tolls since the pandemic began. Think about how many people. That's almost 4,000 people in one day. This virus is real. You guys have to mask up, protect yourself, wash your hands, do your due diligence. And lastly, and no Another, another piece of sad news, the district attorney of Kenosha County, Wisconsin, announced that no charges will be filed against the police officer who shot Jacob Blake seven times, leaving him paralyzed. All right, that's what's going on in news. For more, log on to the RickySmileyMorningShow.com.